Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. What a just crazy day. Man, I mean, over 5,000 pounds we're getting in today. So that's what you're in for. And I mean, by the title, you see it. We made over $1,000. So what a day is in store for you. This is Mighty Mouse. She did two loads today. And Scrapzilla is a little wounded. A little wounded in the back. It's got a flat tire back there. So we got to figure that out probably tomorrow. Um, but anyway, I'm not going to ramble on. So if you can, road to 4,000 subscribers. Sorry, I got stuff in my hand. Road to 4,000 subscribers. If you could hit that subscribe button, hit that like and subscribe button. It would be greatly appreciated. Thanks so much for tuning in and let's get on with the show. Okay, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Let's get after it. This is what we got. We got to drop that off of our lawnmower guy and then fill this thing up and that's a day because mighty mouse is already filled ready to go ready to get in there tomorrow so let's go fill this thing up all right this is how we are starting it off water heater i seen something on the way in too so that's good we'll have to get some more stuff in here before we stand this water heater up break that bottom off as well I think it's going to be a hot and heavy day. I think we're going to fill this thing rather quickly. Oh, it's plastic. Womp womp. Seeing when we came in, uh, I didn't want to... This one's kind of... These people leave stuff on me all the time, which is super awesome of them. Um, but it's kind of tough because it's right next to... Oh, it's a whole ball. Look at that, we'll take that. Purse. Take all this. So I got some pens. Ooh, I need some dry erase pens for the board outside. See what I mean? You gotta give people enough room to stop. And we'll take that. Do not want these legs. At least now we can just stack them over here and we are now out on a route i'm gonna stick that um, i'm gonna stand that water heater up at some point once we get some more stuff in here we'll get a good little base going and then uh we'll stand that up get some straps out maybe stand this thing up get a little pile going you know you know what I'm saying? Right, we got some light poles and a Christmas tree. Yes, sir. Ah, I like that. Got a nice little side stack going. Watch, watch what I do with this Christmas tree. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. Okay. Pretty soon that thing's gonna have to stop moving over. Boom. There you go. We're back. Day's not going too bad. Too bad. It's going pretty good. We're just moving some things around. This is going to have to, oh, I guess, still move down a little bit. It's heavy. We need to get the hammer out, break some things off for her. But I think this is going to fit better as a bottom stack right now team lift all right see what i mean get this thing crammed right up in there and we got the start of a very successful front stack going just so everybody can see what we're doing today with the red white and blue shorts and the red sock shirt rocking it out all right we're gonna get this lamp it's the day of the lamps all right, if you know me, I usually don't show people's cars or vehicles. Look at that, it's a Ghostbusters. It's a Ghostbusters truck. <laughs> That's so crazy. We were supposed to meet with the computer guy today and he never called me. So I figured he just couldn't make it. I'm sure he will stop by sometime soon. 
And this thing, I think we'll save this too. He may want it. Hey, the poles. We've got a lot of like poles and what do you call it? Uh, lamps. Yeah, look at them all. It's driving up. Boom, there we go. A little desk action. Can we roll on this thing? Oh, what is going on there? Why? Oh, uh, the wheels. Not only are they locked up, they're all bent over. Man, otherwise maybe we could have had a little fun on this thing. Double dryer combo. Combo on the double dryer. Oh, an LG, LG, chrome. I'll have to take some pictures. Oh, this one's all jacked up over here. Definitely get some jacked up action. This one's a hot point, hot point. I don't know if my guy will want either one of these. I just wanted to show you guys i really don't lift it with my back i guess that last little arcing motion but it's mostly lifted with my legs sometimes i have bruises right across here on my legs from where stuff sits on there and i pick it up all right all right very good we just sold the uh oh we sold the uh lawnmowers to the two of them we got 75 bucks which is beautiful. We will take that. Chair. Chair numero uno two. Two chairs number one two. Is what I just said, right? Good. At least we're all on the same page here. Let's go. Hot points still may be in play, but the uh, <coughs> the GE's done. This one, the LG. First guy completely passed on it. I uh, just sent pictures to the second guy of that one. All right, we're we getting ready. Let's stand this thing up. We may pick that up, put that on top of there. Really start getting a front stack going. So we'll be right back. So that's what we got, as silly as that looks. The whole top just completely unfolded under that thing. Oh, look at that, nice cork board. I'm not taking it though. I'm just not taking it though. All right, more poles. Water in that thing. I just busted it out. That's how bad the sediment can be in the water down here. Get your drain out your water heaters, people, once a year. When you're done, come over to my house and do mine. Foreman. That thing was all the rage, wasn't it? The George Foreman grill. Nice little iron. Uh, let's see there. It's another piece of metal. I am not taking another ladder. I am not doing that. Lauren would, uh, I'm pretty sure if I bring another ladder home, she's going to come after me. We like that. I don't like this load. I don't like the way it looks so far. I don't like the look of you. See, we're going to have to do something about it. Now the goal is get some stuff in this trailer. And then we're gonna do a colossal front stack. I think that's what I've decided on. So we can start, keep doing the little stuff, but some of this bigger stuff, we're just gonna pile up back here until we get ready to make a super stack over there. Goodness, another one of these. This is another one that I should probably save the, save the wings on. Red Bull gives you wings. <clears throat> Oh, I got my drill with me. Maybe I should just do it real quick. We pulled them off. So 
so kept them five of them and we put the fan right there bed frame I'm probably gonna break this all the way down too just on the so we can conserve some room we need all the room we can get so I will bring you back in a few minutes after I wrangle this beast oh craftsman let's see if uh my guy wants it it's a little bit older model maybe oh it's heavy as a heavy as a whole get out let's let's pick it up together ready team lift on three two one team lift. yes sir big old ceiling fans oh my guy wants this other lawnmower which is pretty awesome so i think after this neighborhood which i'll let you know well you just see me because i'll have more money huh how about that when we're done with it let's see if we can find some spots to really get these to where we don't have to worry about them this whole front stack very soon very soon is going to be changing nice i'm going to take this with the box with the box because this right here is going to start building this little side stack husky bag too pretty sure this is all brass in here yeah bunch of brass that's what's up take that throw it in our clean brass pile that we got going all right got a little gym set here that we're gonna put upside down right there so this should be nice and easy easy peasy as captain would just said so it says right here in fine print come on nice and easy all right is there anything else that needs to go in there right now i don't know i don't know i don't think so put it down again um so yeah we'll see if my guy wants this one um they had nothing going on the other two so we'll see where this one stacks up um if they don't want it i'm putting it right next to that other one boom starting to build in right from there it's probably where it's gonna go anyway all right we'll put the these these doors need to go somewhere pretty soon all right we'll see you in a little bit in the rusty pipe um i don't know if i told you guys but we got 20 bucks for that other lawnmower so we're up to 90 bucks in lawnmowers today nothing wrong with that and this is one of these um one of the self likes like self fix self something i don't know rusty, rusty usually don't do too much with those so that's probably going into the pile got a good amount of aluminum here um that was on the last stop i think i will leave you right here and we'll take this and we'll find a spot for it oh hand truck feeling lonely riding back here like usually i get to ride up front <laughs> not today ah, whoa hey now easy it's all play nice i think that'll ride right there still somehow working on the front stack just keep front stacking this thing ladies and gentlemen business has just picked up we like it we'll start off with this little bad nugget here come on little bad nugget and we're gonna put this Ooh, yeah get that jump going right here oh actually you know where i really want to put it because this is going to be great <clears throat> great stacking material right here big team left one two three team left and the reason for that is is because this refrigerator is coming 
point blank, front and center. Yeah, uh, yeah, we'll put the fridge right there. Boom. We are back and let's get to it. It's everybody's favorite scrapping game. Is it stinky or is it not? Oh, Ooh. no, it's not too bad. <laughs> I'm not gonna keep inhaling that stuff, but it's not, not too bad. Getting a little carried away without you guys. That thing is gonna piss me off. Here we go. Team lift on three, two, and one team lift. Holy moly. Woo, good thing that thing wasn't heavy. All right. Oh no, I forgot he's staying in the back. Poor thing. All right, we'll see you guys in a few. Squeaky brakes. Squeaky brakes 5,000. All right, yeah, get it in. We're gonna break this thing down, all the way down, so that it fits nicely inside of the trailer. You love to see these. Um, if we could show a little patience and clean this up, <laughs> some nice extrusion. But we gotta show the patience to be able to clean it up so that we can get the extrusion, extrusionary devices. What did Jeffy call it the other day? He called it something. Extrusion loop a loop loop a loop loop a loop a loop Something like that. Extrude loop a loop We already have one of these, but we're taking this. And we're taking that. Uh, we'll pull the legs off of it. We'll pull the uh, faucet off of it. Yeah, yeah, look at that comes right out you come right undone oh, we got to take the thing off we'll just do it at the house I don't mind we can throw some other stuff in here get it to ride just like that Any little stuff that we get, we can throw right in here. Start building this thing. Stack. You know, you know what we're saying. Really stop loading this thing down. Anything small goes right in there. Off we go. So, this customer actually hit me up during the week and said, hey, I got some stuff for you I'll leave out there. Um, so this is all it. So I'll start loading this stuff up. All coming pretty much right over in here. And we'll bring you back when we get done show you the little stack that we got. Yeah, that's like a Hot Wheels car container collection. Yep, we'll be saving that. Okay, and uh, I just paid for a little bit here. Um, my guy came home while I was there, and he's like, oh, I got some other stuff for you. So for everything that we got, I paid 30 bucks. Um, so we got, and this guy helped me out when I was first starting out. We got all this wire. It's all wire all the way down there. Um, so we have all that and then all this copper. And then he gave us a couple other things as well. So I figure between the copper, um, the copper and all that wire, we'll strip some of this number one down into Bear Bright. And uh, yeah, I think we'll at least double our money. Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. We went behind the gate behind the gate and that's where we will roam oh we got these fenders in here too i knew there was something else god what a mess this has really just made it a mess flexi messy but now we're gonna have so much stuff <laughs> we got so much stuff to throw in there now Look at this, these are gonna make a great, great barrier. 
and we'll just throw stuff right on in there. So I'm gonna strap this thing down, down, downtown. I think it's time to go right over the top with this one. I'm going on with this back tire here. She could be completely flat. Not completely flat, but pretty flat. Everything's looking all right over there. Bet you that thing don't hold a whole lot of air in it. That's not good. Have to see what's going on with that. Behind the gate is where it's at. Ain't nobody been in here all week. Let's see if we can find some more space to put this stuff in over here, huh? Seeing few. And how long that tire's been flat or low like that? Could be all day today. Ooh, don't you? Um, I say that just because I don't remember seeing that tire not looking flat. Let's put it that way. Keep stacking, keep stacking, keep putting it in there. I do gotta tell you though, we're gonna be at the point on time that when we get done with this big neighborhood behind the gate, we are done. We are flat out done. Okay, let's see how good you guys are. Let's see how we can get this thing in there. Oh, and let me know. Does anybody sell these? Anybody got like a dealer for these that they... I know there's a bunch of people who scrap who watch the channel. Do you guys have a dealer who like... You take them to him and... He does the damn thing. <laughs> you know? I would love to, uh... Try to sell these things. I mean, they're... Okay, wait. No, no, no. Holy goodness. Yeah, just get stuck. Get stuck right there, baby girl. I just met a guy in the area. He pulled... Yep. Not telling that one. He pulled me over. And he's like, hey, well, what do you do with all this stuff? So me and him sat and got to talking. Whew. And uh, probably talked a lot longer than I needed to. Um, but I love talking scrapping. Goodness, what a beast this thing is. So him and I sat and talked and he said that him and his buddy call me five o'clock Charlie <laughs> because when I come into this neighborhood most of the time it's right around five o'clock goodness this thing's kicking my butt Now we're gonna have to lift it up. Holy goodness. All right, I'm gonna put you guys over here. How you doing, 
good, sir. I just sorry to make all the noise. No. This thing's getting me. I think I just need a different method. But thank you so much. Maybe that'll work. Yeah. <laughs> Just need to get some more straps on it. There you go. Hopefully so you get some use out of it. Yeah. <laughs> or recycle it, one of the two. Thank you so much. Tire's starting to lose a little air again. So it's definitely an issue. All right, we're taking this thing. I feel like it's been a bit of patterns today. Like there's another fire pit. How many fire pits have we gotten today? Only like a couple dozen. So we got that thing up there. Hopefully it just, it just stays there. Just stay there and be cool, man. Be chill. Be chill, baby. Fireplace. Um, my only hope now is that we're doing good enough. We can get home on this tire. I'm sure we will. You can just, Tell she's starting to lose it. I can see it barreling at the bottom. Right. Let's uh, see how much of this stuff we can get loaded on here. One of the biggest things we got to do is find a good place for this hand truck. The hand truck cannot get muddled up and everything else. We're right there. I don't know. You just got to keep on stacking right now. Keep on stacking. It's really what we're looking to do. This goes in there. What do you got here? Oh, that's pretty neat. That's something. Take that. See all what's on it. I see some CDs. <clears throat> This has been a, I gotta tell you, I think this is a heavy load. I think we, uh, we really put some, put it on Scrapzilla today. Scrapzilla's taking it like a champ, like a champion. What are all these? What are these? Marvin Gaye's Greatest Hits, Fleetwood Mac, Greatest Hits. Yeah, all right. Whole bunch in here. Yep, all the CDs are in there. All right, I guess we're taking CDs now. What do you got there? Yep, you're coming with us. This whole back half of the load has just become slop. There aren't that many neighborhoods left. And we're already way over everything. Way over crazy. I'm almost to the point where I just want to get home on that back tire so I can figure out what's going on with it. Take this. We'll take this. We'll take the shark. We'll take that little shark. Take all this stuff. Take that, take that. Put all this stuff back too. Let's 
Yep, yep. This is by far a very interesting load. Interesting, I say. If you want interesting loads, this is it. Because it's just kind of got crazy. Kind of all over the place. This backside is not going good. All right, well, I don't know. I don't know. We'll take this, throw that in there. Any other little metal that we can find, we'll throw in there. Racks, I'm not really looking for them. Igloo cooler. The top fell off. It's probably still good. I do not have the room for it. We'll take that. We'll take this thing. Take that. Oh, I hope I left you enough room. Did I leave you enough room? Ha <laughs> ha Scrappers, eh? Come on. You got plenty of room. Yep. I seen them earlier. Sorry. Sorry about your luck, Chuck. Those are all just papers. I want all of these. <clears throat> all right. I think that's it. I think we're done. Let's go. Okay. I figure I might as well move this over here. If we can. Peter Pan, man. Cause we just got a grill. Oh, are you a bandit? Are you a three wheel bandit? Oh no, you're not a three wheel bandit. No, you're not pretty girl. All right. Now it's gonna be the time. The time for some fun has begun. Let's go, team lift on three, two, one. Team lift. Team, 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 team lift. Ooh, that thing tried cutting me. Come on. There you go. Now we're gonna go right over the top with it. Yes, sir. Say it with me. Yes. Ooh, we like that. Okay, just kind of caught on something there. What are you caught on? All right, well, we'll figure this out. And we will. Oh, there we go. We're gonna get it in here a little nicer. That way, if we need to, we can fit something else in there. Fill it up, buddy. Well, it's been a fun day. It's been a fun day out here with you guys, running around, acting crazy. But I think we're gonna call it. We are uh, almost right at the six hour mark so and we're pretty full we're gonna have to find a spot to and a ratchet to ratchet the rest of this stuff down so it was fun running around we got a pretty good size load in there um it's heavy i just feel like it's heavy i feel like we we packed this one pretty good. Um, you know when you can just kind of feel those things? 
like it feels heavy and I'm pulling it. May not look the heaviest, but it feels heavy. So anyway, that's the day. We will see you guys a little bit later. I gotta find a strap for this. Good morning, we are hard to work at it. Uh, we came out in this tire, it was completely flat. So I just want to get this thing in, uh, get it unloaded, and then I can get back here and drop this trailer off. We could pull that tire, put the new tire on, and then figure out what's wrong with this one. But it's got to get us through the day. So finish putting air in it, and we'll be on our way. We made it to the yard, so and it is. This is a heavy load. I don't know how much of it we're keeping, but it is heavy. Look at that stack. Holy goodness. That's a stack right there. And we took that off and we weighed it at about 11, 11 almost 1,100, 11,100 pounds. Too many ones there. Anyway, we'll see you guys in a little bit. We're gonna do an unload. Are we ready? Do some light. Happy Monday. Sir. Happy Monday. This, I guess I'm keeping. Ah, uh, because uh, it's the beginning of a new opportunity. Look at sir. A new week, a new lease on life. Sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. We are back. Look what I'm taking from you. We are back. Take it. I'm deboing this. Take it. Good. All right, I guess that's all the light, eh? Yeah, that's light. What's light? This? Yeah. That's the, uh, the top. And the what? And the top. Oh, the top? You want to go over here or in the yeah. bin? Well, here? If you want to go right there, it's fine. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Hey, don't have to. All I do is save stuff anymore. Ow! Oh, pinch my finger! Finger pinch! Finger pinch! Ow! Oh. Ghostbusters. You good? Then probably that guy. All right. This? No, I got to keep that. You're the one who doesn't want to leave here with stuff. Look at all this stuff you're leaving. All I know. I know. Mess up. But uh, my mentality was wrong. It's what is this? Heavy? Yeah. Let me just throw it over there. You know, if it's worth it to do it. That's gonna stay. This is gonna stay. That motor's gonna stay. What are we getting into now? The heavy. Heavy, e Eddie Spaghetti. Oh, here's another piece of extrusion. Uh, yeah, you want to? You can have my pipe. No comment. No comment. I don't know what I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. That's right. I don't need any slick remarks out of you, fella. Oh, it's all right. They say it makes you tough. 
I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> the backlash? The backlash. What are we doing now? That stuff. Clean machine? Throw it down there. All right. Clean, right? So all this can go? Yeah. Snaggy. There's some other stuff in there. Yeah. Are these, are these light fixtures? I have no Could be. Or... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are the bolts too? Tap, tap. Those are stainless. Yeah. Bolts are stainless. Oh. Oh uh, yeah, I guess so, because the guy who gave them to me was an electrician. Yeah, they're probably so. outdoor light, you know, for like parking lots. Right. Did you just say in... in stuff? Or did you say another word? I didn't say anything. <laughs> I'm keeping my mouth shut. I didn't say nothing about nothing. I don't think I know exactly what you're talking about. Nothing for nothing means something. I got a battery. Oh, hold on, there's this. What else? What else we got? Yeah. You ready for that? No. no! Why you keep trying to get rid of me? Look in that bag. What you got in that bag? Plastic. <laughs> Plastic. Yeah, yeah just bring the whole thing over. Stuff. Yeah. Watch your hand. Ooh. Oh no, scrap that thing. You don't want to clean the copper off of there? Nope. <laughs> nope. Not worth it. At least it don't appear to be worth it. At, at least for you it's not worth it? Some people would argue with me. Listen, if it don't make $25 an hour, then I'm saying it's not worth it. That's my line, buddy. Okay. That's our, that's our goal, all right? What? Is that what you said? What did I say? 25 bucks an hour, it's not worth it. Oh, all right. Piece, sir. It's all brass. Except for you gotta get the handle off. Nope. Oh yeah, it's a screw, right? Yeah, one screw, because then. Goodness. There's a 90 cent difference, guys, right. here. Right. So right. If, if I have to risk chopping off my finger. Yeah. Then it's not clean. You know what I'm saying? Sure. 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 <laughs> sure. So all I gotta do is take that little black knob off, huh? That's what I'm gonna do. Oh no! <sighs> oh, I got the drill right there. I think it's already loaded. Say goodbye to everybody. Bye! There you go. Welcome back to VoiceOver Radio. All right, so it is just me and Jeffy, and this was our load from Saturday. Oh, there was so much stuff. Clean brass, dirty brass, um, aluminum, the doors, that uh, 
stainless steel clip what he called it but like that stainless steel I thought we could have sold it the sheets of stainless uh, but you know we did all right today right now Jeffrey's over there picking up all those uh, dirty brass all the heads um, from the beer taps we got all kinds of stuff um, we just pulled off all that heavy stuff yeah there we go a little adjustment of the canvas see what we're doing all right so there's a door that's one of the doors to the coolers that we just ripped off uh and there's the door that i ran through in that short okay i guess i want to what am i doing i moved you back and then i moved you back over here and move you back over there so those things are heavy they had to be i don't know the two posts and all the other stuff was 780 pounds see this is all that clip stuff that he put it in as and then we had some stainless there those are all from those coolers uh, yeah more stainless a little teamwork teamwork makes the dream work team lift you know how we do yeah finish up that aluminum stuff we are going at eight times speed. Me and Jeffy are quick, but we are not usually that quick. Those are the shelves that we had cut up the other day. Um, that's what I started my video on the other day, was cutting up those shelves. That was good, got those all worked out. I think this original was like 28 minutes I was up here. Something like that, a whole bunch of other clean aluminum that we're getting over there. What a stack. Even this load, it was over 2,000 pounds. Mighty Mouse flexing his muscle. Does not care. All the wire that we pulled out of there. Look right there. Oh, dumping wire. It was like 125 pounds of wire. And then we had all that stuff that was over on the side. I had to move those big poles. Then we had to, I had to go in the back and move them too. Not fun. But I pretty much just chucked him right over the side. 780 pounds. And it didn't go in his tin either. I think it went in his unprepared. Something like that. So, this is a voiceover radio. I am your host, Junkman5000. I'm out! Alright, we are back and... 7,600 pounds. This was a big one. Miss Jill. And we're done. We're done. So, we're going back to the house. I originally seen these things yesterday when I was coming home with the big load. And I was like, man, I can't stop and hit that now. And uh, then I drove by it on the way there. I forgot about it on the way back when whizzing by it. So I made it a point to not forget it this time. This is a busy road. What a load that thing was. I'll give you a hint. Mighty Mouse did over 2,000 pounds. That's how heavy that load was. All right, let's get back to the house. Okay, I think we're doing it. I think we're making it a trifecta day. This is all the stuff that was supposed to go in on Friday. This was gonna be Friday load, but I didn't get to it. So we're gonna bring it in today. That's all fan parts. So. We almost got all this. I'm gonna go through some of the brass. I'm gonna break that thing down real quick and then boom, we will be on our way to the back to the yard. Trip number three on the day, number three. All right, so we just went through the, uh, I went through all the brass stuff. We, that's dirty brass. I don't know what Jeffy's gonna give us for that. Maybe motors, I don't know. Um, and then there's all clean brass. So we'll get that loaded up. The trail's getting there, it's getting there. We're gonna break that stuff up too. Uh, about to break out some power tools, so. I would like to be out of here by two o'clock, which gives us about another 45 minutes or so. All right, so this scooter, um, yeah, it was, it was it was all crusted up. So we took the batteries out, I stripped the inside. I'm still gonna take these wires too. Um, and we got a little motor out of it. So we're pretty much done. And those are both light irony. And that's everything we got. So we're going to make one more run in. Um, the whole front is tin. The barrel's filled with tin. And then 
copper, aluminum, motors, dirty brass, all kind of stuff. All right, let's do it. It does look cleaner as soon as those things get out of here. God, I want those things out of here so bad. So bad. I just got to bring them in. I posted them up. There was one guy yesterday who was going to try to just, I was running late. He couldn't, I don't know. Didn't, didn't link up. He's like, yeah, you can mail them to me. I, I, uh, what? Anyway, we got everything else out of here pretty much. The reefer cores, we're going to wait because we got to check for those. So you might as well do them when they're a bunch. And I want to build up some number two copper. So the number two may be a monthly thing. I don't know. Or I may feel like doing it next week. I don't know. I don't know. But this week, we got pretty much everything that we needed to get. So, so see you guys at the yard. Back to Jeffy one more time. So I'm already way long on time, I think. But this is all that's coming over to Jeffy. Um, and then we'll bring you back after that when we go out back and dump this stuff. So quick hits. That way you guys can keep your tabs on me. This is what we're doing now. Now we're in the back. I'm going to unload all this real quick. And then we are headed home. Hauling it a day. What a day. Very successful. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. That is a huge day. Three tickets. Did three loads today. Um, wow. All right. So the first one right out of the gate, Mighty Mouse this morning. Um, no, is that who we brought in first? No, we brought in Scrapzilla first. Scrapzilla. All right. So Scrapzilla came out and set the bar. It was the biggest load of the day. Um, 10, 2100, irony all light, 109, irony all heavy, 14 pounds, extrusion, 4 pounds, clean aluminum, 44, quarter batteries, 1, electric motors, 5 pounds, yellow brass, 5 pounds, number 1 prepared, 60 equals 2,346 pounds for $208.85. Then we came in with Mighty Mouse and the load that we took, uh, that we worked with Jeffy with, um, 10, 220, insulated copper wire, 124 pounds, brass unclean, 132 pounds, irony all light, 378 pounds. Yellow brass, four pounds. Number one copper, three pounds. Stainless steel clean, 112 pounds. Clip, 366 pounds. Number two copper, six pounds. Clean aluminum, 12 pounds. Unprepared, 780 pounds. And tin, 80 pounds for 2,217 2, pounds for $712. Then load number three, which should have been Friday's load. So Mighty Mouse got it. Electric motors, 96 pounds. Sealed units, 79 pounds. Irony All Light, 56 pounds. Irony All Heavy, 26 pounds. Number two copper, three pounds. Insulated copper, five pounds. Unclean brass, 12 pounds. Yellow brass, 15 pounds. Insulated copper wire, two pounds. In number one copper, 29 pounds uh extrusion eight pounds clean aluminum 18 uh batteries we had one 10 320 pounds gives us a total of 689 pounds for 236 dollars and 87 cents so that gives us a total for the day of 5252 pounds for $1,157.80. And then Jeffy is getting $336.04, which gives me a subtotal of $821.76. And then our pool heater guy. Um, for those who don't know, uh, I kind of teamed up with a guy who does pool heaters. And so what he does is, he charges his customers a removal fee, which is 75 bucks, and I get the heater. So he hit me up today and dropped me $225 for three pool heaters, with the one that we picked up the other day, one we're picking up tomorrow, and one we're picking up later this week. So that was an extra 225, which brought the daily total to $1,046.76. That is the clear definition of a day. So we got to pay Jeffy. Um, 
but wow wow what a day it was worth it over the weekend it was definitely worth it so all right we're just going to do a quote of the day today and then we are going to get out of here we are way long all right here is your quote of the day every situation in life is temporary so when life is good make sure you enjoy and receive it fully and when life is not so good remember it will not last forever and better days are on their way isn't that the truth that is the truth you know what today was a good day so always remember there is no us without you oh no that's a spam call well see that they wanted to jump right on it always remember there is no us without you team lift is more than just physical so if you're able to help somebody we greatly encourage you to do that um you guys are the best really appreciate all the support thank you guys for tuning in all the comments everything else it's really appreciated uh that's gonna be it we're signing off today it was a long one but well well worth it what a day so until tomorrow we'll see you then